Today, I want to talk about owning your power and why a person named Grace has really got me concerned about young women and the women's movement in general. Hi, this is Karma Spence, the Own Your Awesome Mentor. And today on the Weekday Wisdom, January 17th, episode 11, I want to talk about this story that's been going around the internet. A lot of people have been talking about it on Facebook. And it's about this woman named Grace who met this celebrity, and in her mind, she thought, oh, she's going to go on a date. She was hoping for a date and possibly a relationship with this guy. And from what I've heard of the story and what I've read of the story, it was very clear he thought it was a hookup. And the thing is, and this is something I've talked with my husband about, a lot of women treat men like they are broken women in general. Now, obviously, there are going to be exceptions to this, but in general, Men and women are wired differently and we communicate differently and we are not the same. Doesn't mean one's better than the other. We're just different. We're different in our communication styles. We're different in how we're able to read and understand body language. So if you're going out with a guy and he does something you don't like, tell him point blank. No, I don't like it when you do that. That hurts my feelings. This makes me uncomfortable. Doing subtle body language isn't going to cut it, especially if guy is in hookup mode, because he's going to have one thing on his mind. Because this is, this is the difference between men and men, women in general. Women multitask. We can be thinking about this, that, the other thing all at the same time to some degree. And we needed to do that because we are, in general, the, the ones who take care of the children. And when you're taking care of children and helping with the village or the home chores or whatever. You need to be able to think about all these things at the same time. However, men, evolutionarily speaking, they were hunters. They needed to be able to be quiet and focused. And so in general, men think about one thing at a time. So if they're watching football, they can't have a conversation with you. And if they're having a conversation with you, they can't be watching football. So in this scenario with Grace, if Grace has simply said, this is making me uncomfortable, I, I don't know for sure because I don't know the celebrity, but I'm thinking this celebrity is probably a relatively decent guy. He's probably a little bit of a bore and you know maybe he was clueless, but I don't think he's evil. He probably would have gone, okay, fine. All right, I'm backed off. You know, Communicate clearly. Now, to learn more about this topic, since this is not my area of expertise, but it is something that I've read a lot about because after being attacked in my own bedroom by my live-in boyfriend who's now in prison, I went through an entire year of really learning about domestic violence and how to own your power and universal laws. And in that process, I was able to attract the most wonderful man on the planet for me for me. And part of this is I listened to some very good advice from some dating relationship coaches. And ones I want to name specifically who I think are very wise. One is Matthew Hussey from Get the Guy. I still follow him because he does a lot of really fun videos that are just entertaining. And he talks about relationship in general, but he has some really smart advice about how to treat men like men. Another dating guru who I recommend you check out, I stop following because he's really not my style, is David Weigand. And I highly recommend picking up his book, Naked. It is a really good read and it's about being who you are in order to attract the right person into your life. Believe me, when I first started dating my husband, I threw every quirk I had at him and he still loves me. And my reasoning behind that was because I did not want to be stuck with another man who didn't like me. You do not want a man who doesn't want you. A third one I think you should check out is Adam LaDolce. I think that's how you pronounce his name. He's another one who's really fun and he works with savvy women. Again, he helps you understand that men are men, women are women, and how not to get the communications confused. Those three are my favorite that I think will really help you if you find yourself in Grace's situation, because it didn't have to go that bad if she had just clearly communicated and 
owned her awesome. You've got to own what you want and what you're comfortable with. And if someone wants something from you that you don't want to give, regardless of whether it's sexual or something else, you have the right to say no. And the thing is, if you are not owning your awesome, if you're not standing in your power, you might acquiesce because believe me, I've been there. I've acquiesced to lots of stuff that I really wish I had said no to. But that didn't make him wrong. It made me wrong. This is Weekday Wisdom with Karma Spence, the Own Your Awesome Mentor. And remember, don't box yourself in. Spread your wings and fly. You are capable of more than you know. And please, comment below. Help me come up with new videos that you want to watch. Ask me questions about this video, past video, or questions you want me to answer in future videos. I welcome your addition to the conversation.